Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite e.l.f., NYC, and LA Colors products. I know I've talked about them in my empties and favorites and my declutter series, so I just wanted to talk about some of my favorite products and tools from the, uh, each of those lines. And now, as a disclaimer, everybody has different, you know, skin types, eye types, eyelash, eyebrow slips, you know, everything. So everybody's different. So what may work for me may not work for you. But this is just from experience on what works for me from each of these brands. Now, my skin type is normal to dry. My under eyes get dry sometimes, and my eyelids are pretty normal. They do get dry occasionally. And my eyebrows are unruly as all get out. And my eye eyelashes tend to stick straight out. So... But that's just my, you know, skin type. And my lip, lips do get chapped at times. But they're pretty pretty normal. But that's just my, you know, skin type and everything. But let's go ahead and get started with e.l.f. And I want to get started with tools. These are all my, well, I got a few more. But these are all my e.l.f. brushes. Some of my favorite from the regular line. As you can tell, I got four of them because I love them so, so much. And that is the uh, blending brush. I've got four of these because... They are perfect to blend with in the crease. They're soft enough. They're they're just perfect, and they're only in dollars from the regular line. Another one from the regular line that I like is the spoolie. I don't like the one from the studio line, the, the you know the black one, as much because it's not as stiff as this one. This one definitely needs to be cleaned. I need to get a new one, but I prefer the uh, regular line on that one. And also for my eyebrows, I use the Elf Fine Eyeliner Brush. I, I prefer using that on my eyebrows. I don't use it to line my eyes because it works great for doing my eyebrows thin enough to, you know, get the short strokes in there. Another good crease brush is this one. It's the contour brush. It's very densely packed. It's good for getting, you know, a good dark color in there and working it in to smoke it out. It's great for that. And then, of course, the professional eyeshadow brush. The flat tip one is great for packing color on the eyelid. And here's a good um, one that you can take from when you travel because it works two ways. It's the angled contour brush. And see how it's slanted? You turn it this way, you can do your crease, and then you flatten it out. You can just you can put pack the shadow on here and then up here and just blend it. And it you know it's two tools in one basically on this one. That's what I love about that one. And their flawless concealer brush is amazing it gives you airbrush quality concealer this is what i use to put my concealer on when i wear it blends it out perfectly you can't even tell i got concealer on when i use this it's amazing and then their um powder brush very flat very dense great for putting on powder uh some people use it for putting on foundation but i don't i prefer putting my foundation on with a, uh, a sponge and these are my three babies right here this is the elf blush brush but what i it's so soft what I use it for is um, putting my setting powder underneath my eye because it's so soft and it fits perfectly underneath that. And I have two of the small tapered brushes. One of them's got fingernail polish on the bottom to mark, let me know, this is my contour brush or this is my highlight brush so I don't get them mixed up. It's perfect because contour, this fits perfectly right there. And then for the highlight, it fits perfectly right there, down the nose, Cupid's bow, perfect. So those are some of my favorite brushes from e.l.f. Now, excuse the be of quality in my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is great. I don't use the powder side. Um, you can use it as a crease shade. Um, it's good for that. I just don't really, it doesn't look right on my eyebrows because my hair is black, so it just didn't go well. But I do use the wax side to do my eyebrows. That's what I use for my eyebrows, it, and it works perfectly on them. It's the right color. It doesn't look too red or anything. And this is only $3. I swear by it. I need to get a new one. I'm almost out. And I got the, got to grab it, it's underneath everything. Since we're talking eyebrows, the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, this, I have like four of these. these are, this is my backup, I have like four more. And then I have the one I got to open now, but it's all dirty for me using it on my eyebrows. But this is amazing for taming your eyebrows. It doesn't make them crunchy at all, at least in my experience. And I use both sides, because it's the same thing on both sides. So some people don't use it mascara side, but it's the same thing. To, at least to me it seems like the same thing and these are the elf smudge pots i've got let me see pop and party which is the purple one brownie points is the brown one 
and then this is my newest one that I just got not too long ago. It's called Aunt That Sweet, a real, real light baby pink. I got this one underneath all my eyeshadow today. I swear by these. They're 100% better than Maybelline Color Tattoos. They don't crease my eyeshadow. They can go, you can use them as an eyeshadow base or you could just use them for a quick eye look if you're, you know, if you're in a hurry. They're great for that and they last all day. Way better than Maybelline Color Tattoos. Now, for one thing I do, I kind of switch back on what I use to switch, to put under, to set my under eye and they're both e.l.f. The one, first one is the high definition under eye setting powder. I'm out of it right now. That's why I'm using the other one. I swear by this. It's great. It works amazing. It doesn't crease. And this is what I u also use the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. I use the yellow shade in here. That one right there to, un to set my under eye. That's what I got on today. Doesn't crease either. Looks great. Doesn't sit on my fine lines. And I use the green when I have my rosaceous acting up and it helps with that. I love this. This is a holy girl item for me actually. Now highlight. You know, I had the e.l.f. blush and Pinktastic as my highlight in my project pan. This ain't a blush, it's a highlighter. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's great. If you never tried it, try it for that. And eyeliner. Their cream eyeliner is great too. I have Teal Tees. This is what it looks like. This is great for when you want a real nice pop of color. Love it. It stays on. It doesn't flake off. It's easy to put on. And also for the under eye, I have two other things for the under eye. When my under eyes are dry or puffy, the uh, eye roller, the e.l.f. eye refresh is great for, uh, you know, depuffing your eyes. And then I got the hydrating under eye primer. Looks like this. Pumps out a little pink little lotion and you uh, rub it underneath your eyes. And it helps hydrate your under eyes and get them ready for, you know, uh, concealer and foundation. It's great. I love it. And another thing that I swear by is the Elf Mist and Set. This is what I use to form my eyeshadows and take down the cakiness uh, of my powders that I've put on. Great for that. I don't recommend it for setting your eye of makeup. It doesn't work too great for that. I prefer my Maybelline. But it is great for taking down the cakiness and forming your eyeshadows. And I swear by it. And I always have one. And I'm almost out. So i got to go get another one. And I'm not going to spend too much time on these. These are the new eyeliners I just got. The green one's the one I got on today underneath. It doesn't uh, run. It, it lasts pretty, I've had this on for seven hours. It's still there. These are really good. It's the glitter eyeliners or the shimmer eyeliners. It's no, really no glitter. It does have shimmer to it, but it doesn't bother your eye and it's not really noticeable. And you get all different colors. I mean, they're great. I've had them before. I'll probably have them again. And they're self sharpened. And I got, this is probably no longer available. If it is, it's at Walgreens. It's the Cinderella uh, body shimmer or face and body shimmer. It, it's the highlighter. It's kind of a bam in your face. You can put it underneath your uh, foundation or you can put it on top. It's a great highlight. I love it and I've mixed it in with my foundation and it worked that way too. It's really good for that. And here's something else that's holy grail. Their lip exfoliator. Love it. Can't live without it. So it's like brown sugar and vanilla. I don't know what I'd do without this when my lips are dry. I have to have one of these. It, it's not too coarse, but it's coarse enough to get the dry skin off your lips. I swear by it. And here's one of their baked eyeshadows. This is one of the new ones. This is the, the color is uh, called Pixie. And it's a real pretty rose bronzy color. Real pretty color. They're baked eyeshadows. Of course, you can use them wet or dry. I, I usually use them dry and they work just as fine. And I have this blush more towards the front. It's more. It's the new one I got. It's called Glow. It's more like a blush topper. I mean, if you're going for a natural look, it's great for that. But that's Glow in the pan. It's very, very pretty. It's just more of a natural, natural look. And I do have my natural days, believe it or not. And then y'all know my compact, uh, my e.l.f. self-made compact is in my project pan. I've gone over these amazing quality one dollar eyeshadows i mean you can make your own compact and i they have all these colors at still at target so i would recommend you know going and trying a few of them i got the teal one and the brown one there gorgeous and like i said the compact itself is one dollar and each pan is one dollar so that's not bad and this one is in, I can't 
can't tell. Oh, Moon Dust. That's Moon Dust. That's the one I swap, swatched for you, the brown one. And then the teal one is just called Teal. Great quality for one dollar. I mean, I can't recommend it highly enough. A few more e.l.f. products. I just got the e.l.f. contour and bronzing palette. Already in love with it. Been using it since I got it. This is the color right here that I'm used to contour with. And to bronze, I'm mixing the two over here. They're great. They last all day. They blend like a dream. Love them. And of course, I got the blush palette and the light one. Please excuse the broken one. I dropped it earlier and kind of broke it. But that's the light blush palette. And of course, you can pop these. The great thing about these is you can pop them out. And if you're going on a trip, you could have your contour and your uh, bronzing powder and two of the blushes or whatever. It's just great for that. They just you push them from the bottom and just pop them right back in. They're great for that. Six bucks for these. Amazing quality. They last all day, guys. I love them. I can't recommend them high, highly enough. And uh, I didn't show you what color I had on the back of my cheeks. I have this color right here on the back of my cheeks. Towards the back here. Love it. I dropped it earlier, guys. I'm sorry. I tried to break it. You know me. I'm always dropping something. Now, the last thing from e.l.f. is their eyeliner. This is the brown one, the dollar one. It's what I got on today. It hasn't flaked. It has the brush applicator. Love it. Very thin. Very precise. And it's good. I mean, that's brown eyeliner. It's pretty dark for brown eyeliner. I was going to wear black, but I said, well, I'll wear brown. Okay, now let's go on to NYC. For the face primer, I love their Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer in the white tube. It, get, it has more of a lumine luminescent, you know, look to it. Gives your skin more glow, but I got powder on over it, so it really isn't shining through. But it makes your makeup last quite a while. I really do recommend it. It's only like, I think, from five dollars at Walmart, so that's not bad. And y'all know I love the uh, Smooth Skin Breast Face Powder and Translucent to set my makeup. I swear by it. It's amazing. And y'all know I just got the Demi Lovatics eyeshadow palette in natural. This is amazing. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Just to let you know it's worth the five dollars. And then it blends like a dream. The pigmentation is great. Just give it a try, guys. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But you never know until you try it. And that's one thing I want to say about this. A lot of people look down their nose at like Elf and Elliot colors in NYC because they're cheap. They're not cheap. They're affordable. You look down your nose at stuff, you never know what you're gonna find. There are hidden gems everywhere in the makeup department. Don't look down your nose at something just because it's one or two dollars. It could be your holy grail for the rest of your life. You never know. I mean, you could have been spending years trying to find a perfect eyeliner and you buying all the expensive ones. And what you really needed to be buying was this little thing right here from NYC. This is loved by a lot of Big time YouTubers like Crispy and Negative Torals and a few others love this. It's the NYC Black Liquid Liner. It has the pen, the uh, brush tip applicator. It dries matte, doesn't flake, at least not on me. Lasts all day. It's only $2, I think, at Walmart. Come on, y'all. It's amazing. Another thing that I love by NYC and Emily Noel 83 loves this too. Y'all know I love my Black Radiance eyeshadow primer, but when I'm in a hurry, I love this. This is the City Proof 24 Hour Eyeshadow Primer by NYC. Just like a crayon form, so you can really quickly put it on. Makes my eyeshadow last all day. Doesn't crease it. Works great. It's on par with my Black Radiance. And I say it a lot. <laughs> I swear by it. Okay, I think that is it on NYC besides for some lip stuff, but lip, I'm doing all at one time because it's all in here. <laughs> it's all the brands. I got a lot. Okay, on uh, LA Colors, let's uh, do, let's do some eyeshadows. This eyeshadow palette I got around Christmas, but I think they still have it at Family Dollar. It's called Brown Buzz. Real pretty um, oranges, yellows, greens. Great quality. Then I got these two in a Christmas set palette. Palette. A Christmas set. I got these palettes in a Christmas set. Smoky and uh, the nude one. Great quality. I love I love them both, but I really prefer the nude one. And I have this brown over here and these two browns in my crease today. And what I have on my lid is a mixture 
from this charming six band palette, which is a dollar. This is a dollar. I have the real bright green and this green right here. The real bright green and the one in the center up here are the two I have on. And that's what I got on today. The pigmentation is amazing on this stuff. I can't say enough about it. This one is called Almost Nude. Love it. One dollar. Here's one I've also used a lot of. And it's called Delicate. Very, very pretty. I love this during the summer. I wear this a lot during the summer because I like to wear a lot of pinks during the summer plus a lot of black, uh, bright colors like those greens. I love wearing those during the summer. And these are only a dollar, guys. I mean, come on, y'all. Give them a try. You never know. You may love them. Those two right there are the two pinks. <sighs> Can't say enough about these. And here's my other favorite one. Night Out. It's got the gray and the pink. And you can do a smoky eye with it because of the black in it. But I like doing the pinks and the gray there. Gorgeous. I can't say enough about LA Colors eyeshadow. Those are only a dollar. That And this one here is only a dollar. Love it. They last all day on my eyes. You know, with the eyeshadow primer on. Can't say enough about it. Now, on lipsticks, y'all know I just got the NYC Showtime Lip Balm. This one's in Modern Coral. Very hydrating, has that cake batter scent to it. And that's just, they're like the baby lips. These are uh, $2. Love them, can't get enough of them. I also like, I showed you how this one uh, was an almost dupe for Max um, Syrup. This is the Violet Shine. Really pretty plummy mauvey color and this other one I got another NYC because I like that one so much and this one is in cafe real pretty nude color this, the nude color is the feathers one out and then the violet is that one there these are only uh, 99 cents a piece so worth it 96 or 99 I think and on my lips today it's a combination of uh, the shimmer lip gloss. I think this is coral. Let me see. This is numbers on here, no name. This is the coral lip gloss, the elf shimmer lip gloss, and I have the elf lipstick in flirtatious. Y'all know I like to accidentally leave my lipstick in the truck and it melts, and that's what happened to this one, so I'm not gonna do it all the way up, but that's what it looks like, and that's what's on, on my lips today. It's a real pretty coral color, and it has a kind of fruity scent to it. And I also have the e.l.f. Jumbo uh, lip pencils. Sorry guys, I'm looking for something to wipe my hand off. I have the e.l.f. Jumbo lip pencils and I like those too. It's a real, you know, light wash of color. I have th these three here. That's what they look like. And the first one is in Movie Star. It's a reddish one. I like a wine, -ish, wine red almost. It's real pretty. The real light wash of color. And this is Pink Umbrellas. I've had it before. Lost it, <laughs> like I told y'all. So I had to get a new one. I just love it. That's the wine one and the one next to it's Pink Umbrellas. And the last one out here is Sangria Starters. It's a very pretty brown nudie color. That's Sangria Starters right there. They get, have that uh, elf uh, regular line, like the dollar, two dollar line, uh, minty scent. I don't like it, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't really bother me. I just prefer, you know, different scents to my, uh, to my lip products. And they also have the, uh, baby lips knockoff. And I had, they just come out with these. I got XO Red. And, uh, this one is called Flirty and Pretty Pink. This is a true bubblegum pink. I put this on my lips by itself the other day. And I was amazed at the color payoff. Just just from that. I mean, that's from the lip from the uh, lip butter. And this is the red one there. I don't think I've worn the red room yet. And that's the red one. Look how much pigmentation just from just from one of these. And they got the minty smell too. And uh is that on my elf? Yes. And NYC, like that eyeshadow primer I showed you, they also have a lip primer. It's a 24-hour lip primer. It's called 
Perfecting Lip Primer NYC City Proof. It has kind of, it does have a pink tint to it. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it on my hand. You can yeah, it's up here. Yeah, you can see it. You can wear it by itself, or you can wear, uh, wear it under any lip color. I've done it with all lip colors, and it uh, conditions your lips and gets it primes them for lipstick, and it makes your lipstick last longer. So I recommend it's only like two dollars. Okay, now y'all know, y'all know, and boy do y'all. <laughs> I love the new LA Colors High Shine lip lip glosses. Got them all. Love them all. Two dollars for these things. The pigmentation is outstanding. They're not sticky. They last a while. It's just, I mean, I can't say enough about these guys. And they got that cake batter flavor to them, like the uh, NYC lip balm, uh, lip balm does. And the, the one I just swatched for you is called Flaunt. It's that one right there. That's a lip gloss. I mean. I just, I'm in love with these things. I can't get enough of them. And when I wear, I wore this red one the other day, and I got so many compliments. I thought it was so pretty, so shiny. It's the red one. Just so pretty, and that's dynamite. Dynamite. Let's see, what's this one? Mingle. Mingle's my favorite. I love it. And this is Baby Cakes. I love this one, too. It's really pretty. This is Lavish, the dark one. Still haven't worn it. I got it. Yeah, I did. I paired it with a real, real light pink lipstick. I can't remember which one it was. And it darkened it up a little bit. But I haven't worn it by itself yet. That's, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> that's Snuggle. I love this one. I'd say that one and um, Mingle are my two favorites. And, of course, this was Flaunt. And then you got a clear one. I can't say enough about them. They're only $2, guys. Family Dollar, Kmart, or wherever they color, carry LA colors, go get them. I can't say enough about them. And then their regular line also is amazing. And what I love about these, they're not as, they're pigmented, but they're not as pigmented. They're only a dollar. But my favorite thing about these, they smell like bubble gum. That is my favorite scent. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I just love the smell of old school bubble gum. And there's no name on the bottom of these. There's just numbers. This pink one is BLG68. Or excuse me, the coral one. And then the pink one is BLG67. The baby. This is more the bubble gum. You know, bubble gum color. Yep, and it has the doe foot applicator. And like the other ones have the flat. But that's the... Uh, one dollar ones right here they're they're worth it they're so worth it just for a dollar and i have backups for both of those because i love them so much and another um thing i love from la colors and this is the last thing <laughs> thank you thank you all for sitting with me through all this is the la colors chunky lip this is the only red that looks good on me and i don't know why this is what they look like they're only two dollars this is deep red and it's the LA Colors Chunky Lip. Is that right there? It's soothing. It's hydrating. It lasts a good while. It's the only red for some reason that looks good on me. I don't know. I don't know why. And I got a backup of it because I love it that much. And this other one is in Cocoa. This is my go-to lip color when I can't decide what to wear. It's gorgeous. It's the perfect nude. You can wear any, like I wore baby cake sores the other day. It's right there, the feathers worn out. Love it. I can't say enough about LA Colors lip products. They are amazing. Just give them a try. And their eyeshadows are amazing too. But thank y'all for sitting with me through this. Um, let me know what some of your favorite uh, products from these brands are. I might have not tried it and want to try it. But um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thank y'all for stopping by.